Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I am in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Come closer. I want to tell you some things about what's going on. No. Go back. Go back. No, come closer. Okay. So enough of the push-pull, right? What's going on out there? Okay. So what I want to let you know today is about your transition and your union space. You are in a transit again. And yes, we're coming up to another full moon here. And it's starting to whiz by. New moon, full moon, quarter moons. You're going to feel things at the quarter moons many times, especially if you're a Blu-ray. So what I have to let you know about this full moon, there's a lot of things I can say. For example, if you're a male deer, this will be the time that you're getting your antlers. Okay, but what does it mean for twin flames? What does it mean for twin flame couples? This is it. You're in your union space. You're actually in a brand new timeline. I was talking about it from last year. I was demonstrating it that you are elevating into a different timeline. And you might be looking at your twin and saying, it's a little hard to believe, but I'm going to tell you how you know through your body and by how things feel to you. So this is it. Starting now, in fact, yesterday after, uh, on about the 5th or 6th, you probably started to feel the energy go void. Okay, it'll feel like a flat, dead calm. You might hear it out in nature where maybe the birds aren't singing. It seems like everything went to sleep. Very quiet and very low key. <clears throat> but here's the thing about it. That's exactly when you're transiting. And do you know how to navigate this? Maybe, maybe not. Also, how would you navigate it? It's through your body. So if you're, if you're feeling annoyed that maybe some things didn't work out for you or the weather changed or somehow you did notice that there was a low energy to the day, maybe you were out of energy, maybe you became very confused, disoriented or something like that, that's a normal part of this type of transition or transit where you are on the move, but the human side of you hasn't really come into that space yet. However, you are in your union space. And for those of you who are saying, well, Patricia, I've been in my union space. I know we're in 5D, but in 3D, it's a whole different picture. It is just not for this lifetime. I'm going to tell you this. Get all your things together. Get all your crap done. That's going to mean... Get your earthly things done and get your body ready. Because if there are things you haven't cleared, purged, or you don't know how, or you don't know certain things, I want to let you know your body is new. There are new structures to it. There are new connection points. And things that are taught from ancient cultures will not apply. A lot of you have been aware that you are releasing ancient timelines, ancient cultures, ancient Egypt, ancient Inca uh, Empire, the ancient Incan Empire. It will be ancient Mars, ancient Pallades. And many of those things may have gotten you by for a while. But guess what? Some of you are blowing through a level here. Some of the same types of meditations won't work for you. Some of you, it never worked for you. People would say, try this, try that. Never worked for you. And actually, that's a lot of the masculine. Because the masculine, in many ways, are actually much newer than they're being given credit for. They really are. So, you have, until October, there is a grace period. Grace period means that there is a period that enables you and allows you to get some of your things done. Why? A big part of the reason has to do with Neptune going retrograde starting from June 16th. So about mid-June, 
just before the solstice, and that solstice energy was weird for people, that was to push you. The pressure is on. Get your things done. What does it mean for some people? For some people, it means start the business that you've been feeling or wanting or tasting. Start it up somehow. For other people, it means get your divorce finalized. Don't linger. Don't dilly-dally in it. Don't mediate it. Don't, you know, churn it and stir it and make nice with it. Get it done. Just get it done. Get it finalized, get it legal. And if you, because you will know by how it feels that if you are supposed to finalize things, it will feel very pressurized for you. For some of you, it might be finally get your health together. For some of you, it might be changes in lifestyle. For a lot of you, it might actually be just little tweaks here and there. You're just simply polishing some things up, getting good at a few things, um, getting good at navigating these energies so that you know what is this type of energy. This is the energy where, yes, you are in a transition. That means that sometimes you're treading water. You are doing your essential stuff, and I've said this before. So for those of you who want to criticize why these things are said be again and again and again, there are people newly coming into this. So if this is new to you, or maybe it's not entirely new, but you're just having the dots connected where you can say, yes, oh my goodness, yes, that's what this is. That's what it is with this person I met. I didn't understand it. And let me tell you something. There's a lot of people I've talked to that I would call high school sweet sweethearts. And a little bit more about that in a little bit. But the high school sweethearts are coming together again. And there's something very special about them. And I'll tell you why. Also, you have several key areas of your body to merge. Not all of those are physical parts. They are anchored to your physical human body, but they are your out-of-body structures, subtle bodies, joint connections, chakras. And if you're not giving an opportunity for this to happen, guess what? The universe is making one for you right now. So what you have to do is get your stuff done. If you're not clear, it'll take you to next year. Okay, so for those of you who like to report and say mm, physical twin flame union isn't for everyone, take that with a grain of salt because I'll tell you why. There are people that, yes, there are people who have extreme conditions. Okay, they may be extremely sick or ill. There will be perhaps mental things, addictions, addictive behavior. You are staying put until the inroads and the prototyping of the body is such that you can heal some of this and finish the healing with your twin. So that's another thing to know. The healing's only going to go so far. You do need your twin. You need your physical twin. Every cell in your body is screaming for your twin. And going into denial or going into avoidance isn't going to cut it. It's the cells of your body. Pay attention to your body. That's what I teach. I teach about the body. If, on the other hand, there's been little to no awareness, there will be other waves of people coming up here. Now, I've shown this before as well. If one or both are still married, okay, you're probably going to stay till next year and this stuff is all going to start up again and you're just going to have just as much work to do to get it done than if you had gotten it done when you first felt to. If you have re-entered into soulmate land through dating one night stands, etc. And there are people that say, well, I told my twin I love, I love them and they decided that to tell me I don't love you. I love you, but I don't love you. And you're saying, I'm holding space for them, but meanwhile, I'm going to date and I'm going to do some things. And here's where it gets kind of tricky because if you do re-engage with people, 
you will have to clear that out. If you're not clear, it'll take you into next year. You can do some things during the grace period if your things are not substantially 80% done and your body is substantially ready and prepared, you go into next year. So we had this saying here in, in Chicago, there's always next year. Why? Because when our baseball team didn't make it into the finals or the playoffs, well, we had our next year last year. It was next year last year. <laughs> It always comes. It'll come with enough faith. And yes, blind faith always uses the heart. But you have a cosmic heart. What about your cosmic heart? It's not just your little teeny tiny pumping heart here. You share parts. You share a heart. So if you feel like you're in uncharted waters, if you feel like you're between the dimensions, okay, you are. So if this is new to you, you might decide to try my webinar that is called New Beginnings, Twin Flames New Beginnings, subtitled How the Runner Will Return. And I'm going to tell you something else. Running and chasing will also be a thing of the past. And many runners find that they've been chasers. And many chasers find that they've also been running from certain parts of themselves. And you're each other. So running from yourself just will only go so far. This is specifically this beginning one. If this is new to you, this talks about your etheric and your astral body. So you may have been aware of an astral lover or you may have first initially become aware of your true love in the astral plane. Loving you, making love to you, kissing you, feeling like just gliding with each other and that's all going to come down to earth and you will meet the person. And many times I find that when there are people who get high, they, yeah, they, they've been kind of living in that astral plane and their twin can perceive them. But when they see that person show up and they go, oh my goodness, there's all these addiction issues there. I, I can't handle it. That's not me. Or you have people that um, really want to do some old school stuff. There is someone that they love. Okay, these two men love this woman, okay? But they're so zoned on being angry with each other that she's getting lost over here. She's starting to become completely, what, some object, some, something that, you know, they each want to possess and own. What about these ownership aspects? What about all of that? What about aspects of entrapment, enslavement? I will fight you a duel at dawn. Well, nobody's supposed to fight each other anymore. There are no more love triangles. You are clearing out all of the energies. You are clearing people's energies out of you. Even from the astral plane, you're, you're drawing yourself back to yourself. How do you do it? I give you the primers in here, and there are light codes and activations to help you do this. But the best part is this is where the primers are to help you start with your angelic breathing, not human breathing, angelic breathing, and also how to feel, okay? Those primers are in this one, Twin Flames New Beginnings. If on the other hand, you've been at this for a while, these are going, this one here, being in the new life is going to talk about being in transition and the key body areas that are transitioning or going through transformations and upgrades and making it easy for you. Each one of my webinars do have light codes and activations for you. I am a Blu-ray. That means that I am a prototyper of the new body template for 5D living. Okay, to make it really simple for everyone. So there's a lot of people that, you know, will say, well, this aspect is this and, you know, that chakra is connected to this planet and this part. And you might be saying, what is it? Yes, I do um, have some of that technical information in here. However, the main thing is for you to feel yourself, for you to feel each other and feel in love, to feel that you're loved and supported by the love of your union. Not by other deities, not by 
you know, some other person or by splitting it. Like, well, I have my twin here, but I have my spouse here and my spouse is a good provider or my spouse is good with this. However, this is what I really want. If you really want to get out of here, get busy with your body because you're not doing it with the mind. In fact, the mind is going, that is part of this transition is a little bit more ego mind will go through a dissolution and dissolve and float away from you. And it's going to feel weird in some ways. If you are a Blu-ray, my webinar called Divine Life Living in Two Dimensions will be very helpful for you. And there are many people that will confuse the astral with the fifth dimension. The astral has been and in between place, it has been a between dimensions place, between the dimensions. So yes, this is this is sort of a shaman area. This is where shamans have gotten their information from. But this is also why some people can't read for other people's unions. Why? Because this it actually goes beyond that. If they're just reading here to here, and you know, you get a situation like this where someone's talking to someone and says, girl, just give up. He already told you. Can't you get it? I mean, I can even, you know, it's almost like I can read his mind and understand he just doesn't want to be with you. And the other one walks away very confused and says, but why is my heart telling me this? Why is my heart saying things like, there's the one. He's it. I'm with you. Hold steady for me. Why would my heart tell me these things if it weren't true? I'm just so confused. I want to throw my hands up and just run. Okay. And then you, you know, you go into a pattern here. But all of these patterns are breaking. I'm going to tell you what the solstice was. The solstice was, pay attention here. The solstice was to release your quantum entanglements. That was the gateway where the biggest opportunity was to close the door on the past. You still have to get the past out. The upper, so it, how, it works like this. The opportunity is provided. The bigger door opens, the other one's getting ready to close. Take your stuff out, purge it out, get it in the past and close the door on it. That's what it was. That's the opportunity to not have a karmic baby. Okay, you, some people want to have their love child with their true love. And you can, except get yourself disentangled. If you're not clearing out the karmic past from your body, you're going to have to, you know, do that or be subjected to more karmic types of living. If you're saying to yourself, not for this life, you can come back for another life. Nobody's preventing you from coming back for another life. You can come back here. You can come through the same kind of family, the same kind of abuses, the same kind of emotional stuff. You can do that. You can do that. If you feel you need another life, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. My focus is getting the people who want to merge together. That's why I am called Twin Flames Merge. And that is what I teach. I teach people about getting yourselves ready so that it's easy. And, but furthermore, so that you can help. So this last one here, living in two dimensions. Many of you will be living in two dimensions. You will have a full on, full recall of your life in 5D together and remember it together. And also live here and take care of the rest of your responsibilities if you especially if you have children if you have children elderly parents a pet um, you are not going to ditch them you will stay here and see your dharma through if you took on that responsibility if you had three minutes of sex that resulted in an 18 year at least agreement to raise a child you're going to be here for a little bit you're going to be living in two dimensions and this is, you know, this is something that people will go through a process of upset, resentment, um, getting yourselves around to being the divine parent. You can't be the divine parent here at human level. You're the divine parent 
in the next level. That is what the mergings are for, is to transform you into the beings that you truly are. So if you would like to join my live webinar, I have two coming up. I have July 13th, that is a Thursday morning here in Chicago. So if you are in um, another time zone, for example, if you're in Europe, that's going to be your Thursday afternoon. I also have um, Friday, July 14th, which I know is Bastille Day. So get ready, everyone in France or anyone with a French connection or ancestry. It's going to also be your liberation day. We just had ours. We just had ours. Opportunity to liberate yourself. That's what this is. Not everyone feels free. Some people still feel trapped or tethered down financially or something. But the opportunity is there to start to make these quantum leaps. So Friday, July 14th at 7 p.m. Um, that would be actually best for people on the west coast of the United States. Um, it's 7 p.m. here in Chicago, the day that I do that. Also, I do a causal body session. This is to help open up your upper channels to make it easy for you to receive your causal body. Now, I want to make a comment here about that. That is something that the masculine definitely has healed in a higher realms, usually off planet. And so there's a lot of messages. The masculine is coming. The masculine is coming. People can feel it. I can feel what when people's masculine are coming. And many times that has been interpreted as my, my man is here and my man is going to stay with me forever and never be a jerk again. Okay? All right. Fair enough. That's, that's definitely something you should believe. But sometimes it is taking a few meetings for you two to integrate each other and connect with each other and really see what else is there. What, did, what do you have? What do they have? My twin is this. Well, then what, the, what does that make you? We used to have this saying when uh, we were a kid. It takes one to know one. It takes one to know. If, if you're saying things about your twin, this is a person you're going to be living with. I wouldn't really encourage you to besmirch their reputation. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it. And that goes for, you know, kibitzing about it in social media, you know, running things past people, and you're exposing it, you're exposing your union to everyone else's heads and opinions. You don't know where people are at. But what I can tell you is having a emphasis about your body, about the way that you first felt each other, a way that you were able to first start knowing some things, okay? And then you went and did some research, and then you went ahead and found out what some of this is and what it entailed. Don't give up. That person needs you. If you are in a transition, so are they. If you're feeling this, so are they. You are coming into your union space. So I will be talking much more about that in my live webinar, in my Blue Infusion. I do talk about it in the causal body. I'm one of the very few people, I believe, that actually does provide some support material with, which, with each session that I do. If you need a follow-up, if you've talked to me already and you need a follow-up and some of this is confusing for you, check out my spirit chat. Spirit chat. So every there's a calendar on my website. There is no waiting list. You can certainly get an appointment. And I strongly encourage everyone, don't go back to Soulmate Landia. Okay? Honor your union and honor the reason why you're here to begin with. Because you are here to come back into full physical union. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and weekend. This uh, full moon is actually going to be very much exposing things again. The thing, the very things that weren't really apparent before or may have been omitted or avoided by your twin are going to be sometimes glaringly obvious or transparent at the least. 
And what are you going to do with it? Because then you have your emotions. Check out my stuff. Check out the new beginnings so that you can learn about angelic breathing, which will not only assist you, but helps you to cleanse yourself. Okay? You brought in your four corners, air, water, fire, earth, and you're adding the love. Okay? You brought it all in. Get good at it. You were masters once. You can do this. Bye now.